Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are doing something really cool and recreating the town dump in New Horizons. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So for those that don't know, the original Animal Crossing had a really cool feature called the Town Dump. It was pretty much what you'd expect and was a fenced off area where you could literally dump all your unwanted items in the game. The Town Dump included a garbage collection mechanic too, which would empty the dump every Monday and Thursday morning, which was really cool. The reason this mechanic was so cool apart from adding more charm to the game was that you could also find items in there from other villagers too like wallpapers or furniture items that they didn't want. And of course one person's trash is another's treasure and that's so true for Animal Crossing. Furthermore any items dropped in the dump were excluded from the town rating and wouldn't stop you reaching a perfect town which was really useful. Unfortunately, as iconic as this acre is in the Animal Crossing universe, this mechanic was replaced with a simple recycling bin and never returned to future versions. I don't really know why, personally I love the look of it and the mechanic behind it is really awesome. Anyway, the town dump typically included a mud or a dirt patch in the centre of a barbed wire fence with a tiny little sign to the right and that's what we're going to be recreating today. Step 1. Fence First of all, you need a nice location for your dump. You probably won't want to move this again if you don't have to. The area needs to be fairly open as we're going to be using a 6x6 grid so it might take up more space than you'd expect. Once you've got a suitable location, it's as easy as building a fence using a barbed wire fence which of course can be purchased from the Nook Stop at the resident services. You're going to need 18 pieces, depending on how you construct it, that's 6 fence pieces for the back, 5 for each side and 2 for the front. This should give you a nice square area with an entrance at the front. Step 2. Dirt Pattern Next we have to try and replicate some of the characteristics from the original by making the mud or the dirt pattern that's always at the centre of the dump. So we have the tedious task now of scanning in 16 dirt patterns using the Nintendo Switch Online app which we can then display on the floor. I will leave the links to the dirt patterns in the comments if you want to use them. So I recreated the dirt patch in Photoshop as accurately as I could but I had to keep changing the colours because for some reason the colours from the original looked really washed out. Eventually after lots of trial and error I settled for the colours we're using here but I'm sure they could be improved further. Once I'd found the right colours, I saved them as tiles and converted them using acpatterns.com. Anyway, once you've scanned in all the dirt patterns, you can literally display them on the ground within the barbed wire fence and honestly, at this point, it's already looking pretty awesome. Step 3. Sign The next step is to create a little town dump sign that can be seen to the right of the entrance in the original. Fortunately, New Horizons has a perfect item for that called the wooden shop sign. It looks good as it is but there's also a cool pattern made by a user on Reddit which looks exactly like the original design, I'll leave a link for that below too. Again we just have to scan it in using the Nintendo Switch Online app. Once we have the sign and the pattern we need, we can head to a crafting bench and customise the sign so we can display the dump pattern. Once complete simply head back to our town dump and place the sign to the right. Honestly, how cool does that look? Step 4. Customization So now we have pretty much a town dump that closely resembles the original, so it makes sense to drop a few items like some trash bags, maybe some of the trash we fish out of the river like tyres and cans, just to give it some more character. Of course it wouldn't be a classic town dump if we didn't drop a random piece of furniture either. It was always an exciting feeling running past the dump and finding a leaf in there. Anyway, this looks okay as it is, but you can customise this even further if you want to kind of modernise the dump. And you can do this by removing all the patterns and first laying down a dirt path inside the fence. I designed the dirt patterns to be transparent so they can be laid on paths no problem. Simply fill the area with a dark dirt path and then continue to lay all the dirt patterns back down on top of the newly laid path. This makes the whole thing look a bit more fitting for New Horizons. And there we have it, the classic town dump recreated in New Horizons. I'm pretty proud of it, but I'm sure you guys will do a much better job than me. If you do make one, be sure to tweet me a screenshot, I'd love to see it. Anyway, what do you think of this? Are you a fan of the original, or do you prefer to use the recycling bin to throw away all your unused items? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. 
Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, you guys rock. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you got this far in the video, please comment dump just let me know you did that would be super awesome and please be sure to include whether or not you're going to make an area like this i'd love to know anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining please be sure to leave a like if you did thanks for watching i hope you have an amazing day stay safe and i'll see you in my next video peace